Is everything okay there, babe? Well, you can hear me breathing, so yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Hey, go, let's go. Onwards and upwards, babe. Oh, 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 onwards and upwards? Oh, no. Nah. I'm just going to sit here and admire the view. You keep going. And Kim is doing brilliantly well. I don't know. Are I'm, you not? I wouldn't say that. What would you say? I'll say oh, I'm half dead. Babe! Babe! No. I found the crater! Fucking good. Fucking hell! Don't look at go this. up there! Look at those guys! I freaking perched up here, one leg there, straddled over this big rock on this tiny little path, and oh, I can't move. Panoramic. And, and if anything, I think it'd be nice to try and respect the heritage here as much as we can, but... I wish you'd stop making things up <laughs> on the road. I can tell you I'm about, I'm about out of jack of it. Have you? Yeah, I'm about jack of that. <laughs> Do you want me to take my phone? Oh, look, I'll carry it. I'll do everything. I've done it for the last 30 days. Why do I have to stop now, babe? Fair call. Yeah. What is it? Oh, what? <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice of you. Oh, the limestone's made up of all these little, um, like, calcite and these little bio shell things. Like, they look like, what are they called? Bivalve. They're like... Open up, we did not Jump. expect that. Yeah. And We're just hoping there might be a touch of vodka in there. Who's going to eat the fucking fruit? Babe, what, what are you doing down there? Oh, there's a bit. What are you doing? <laughs> you can go back down there if you want. <laughs> Getting a man all excited. I'm, I'm cooked up with her for the next 12 fucking hours. <laughs> Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. Okay, so we're going over there to Mount Schenk. It's an extinct volcano. Well, they say they think it's an extinct one, didn't they, babe? Yeah. So we hit the car park at the bottom of Mount Schenk. Now this is a great little walking trail. Little, well, little bit long. Kim seen this sign, well, I didn't know whether we'd make it or not. So anyway, here we go. Hey guys, so that there is the crater, if you can see it, from this volcano. So, um, apparently there's a viewing platform, was there, or what, babe? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Okay, so why are we walking then? I don't know. <laughs> it said 30 minutes. 30 minutes, yeah. One way. One way. Depends how far you fast you walk because it's only one kilometre, babe. Yeah. Now, a little sit down. Um, now, you're putting big ones. Putting the big yards in. Okay. Here we go. We've got some little step things, haven't Mr. we, Mr. Boot Camp. What? What's wrong with you? Mr. Boot Camp. It's not boot camp, babe. It's not boot camp. Why are my legs so stiff? Well, I don't know, babe. What's the matter, babe? Well, Mr. Feast is a, a nice man for recommending this hike. Oh, he's a good bloke, isn't he, babe? Yeah. He did chuckle when he said it, though, <laughs> babe. I know. He said, no, no, there's steps all the way. <sighs> it's not a goat track, at least. Is it, babe? You, you'll, you'll do this one, won't you? Yep. Yep. I don't give up. Wait a minute, we flew back to go track one. <laughs> you only want to do that, Seth, I'm still breathing. Is everything okay there, babe? Well, you can hear me breathing, so yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <sighs> You'll be right. Don't worry about it. There's a little CD here for her. Yeah, I'll be taking advantage of that one. There you go, babe. Babe, you've got five steps and you've got a seat. I know. Thanks. Don't take advantage of things. How about you run up ahead? No. Uh -huh. And see what's up there. No, no, I can't do that. I don't think it's worth going up there myself. Oh, I fucking think it is. Oh, it's not too bad. 
Like a dog with a tongue hanging out, babe. Panting away there. Cooling down. Okay. She's doing well, isn't she, guys, eh? Hey? Put the ass on her, will you? That'll be small by the time you get up here, babe. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just giving you a bit of a go. You okay there? Can't talk? No, it doesn't want to waste her energy. Here. Have a look at that spectacular. <sighs> See you, dear babe. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Hey, okay, let's go. Onwards and upwards, babe. Well, oh, uh, onwards and upwards? Oh, no. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and admire the view. You keep going. No, I'll wait for you, babe. Well, this kind of sort of bloke I am. No, I don't mind. Off you go. You're fine. Have a look at that. No, not that view. I think we've just got that little bit to go. Okay, guys, the bikes are right there. Right there. So, we have come a fair way, haven't we, sweetie? Fucking near a kilometre. And I think we've just got that to go. And Kim is doing brilliantly well. I don't know. Are you not? I wouldn't say that. What would you say? I'd say I'm half dead. Okay. Let's fucking finish her off then, yeah, guys. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> let let finish her off. Last leg of the journey. Mount Shank is a volcanic cone formed by explosive eruptions, pyroclastic flows and lava flows. A highly prominent volcanic cone, it is generally regarded as the youngest volcano in Australia and is believed to have been active as recently as 2,000 years ago. It is thus still classified as dormant and not extinct. A state heritage area of national significance, Mount Shank is 158 metres in height. It has walking tracks to the crater rim with views over the surrounding district. The track continues down into the central core of the volcano. The elevation is 1,011 metres. It is an almighty walk up to the top with all those steps. We did not go down into it, but this absolutely blew my mind away. Babe! Babe! No. I found the crater! Fucking good! Fucking hell! Don't go this. up there! Look at this guy! Is spectacular! Oh my God! That is unreal. That's that's the volcano, babe. I don't want to look, babe. No, you can't make me. <laughs> Wait a minute. You, if you come out this no. way, you'll see it. No, honestly, I this is safe this way. Oh my God! Look at it. Oh, babe, you got to. No, you got to come here just to here. No. Yeah, just to here. And you'll see, look at the wall. No, I cannot. Look at that. You oh, go. Oh, fucking hell, babe. Take a picture, fucking oh, self. Oh, babe. Babe. My, it's magic. Take a picture. I've got tears coming out of my eyes. Here, take a picture. I'll throw my phone to you. To me? No, 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 no. Take, yeah, hold on. Take, okay. Take you hold on to my belt. There you go. Hold oh, on to my belt. Take a picture. Hold on to my belt. No, you won't see it properly, uh, honestly. Just come out to this little tree here. Right, what little tree? Not fair dinkum. Uh, it I'm is scared. absolutely spectacular, babe. Come out here. No, come here next to me. You're right. I don't think I can move. Yes, you can. You're a long way from the edge here. Come on, come here. Come here. Don't move me. Don't oh, touch. Well, it's going to cuddle you. No, that's OK. I don't okay. move. OK, yeah, we're not going no further. Now, oh, stand up. up and look. No, no, I can see it. <laughs> No, look at the sides of the yeah, volcano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you say? <laughs> Are you looking? Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> I don't think you're looking. I, I can see grass and yeah, no, rocks but there. Look at, yep. No, they're not rocks. That's part of the volcano. Oh, that's, that's molten lava and that it used to be. Oh, look at it. That's OK. That's nice. Oh, mate. See, it's Fuck. very nice, isn't it? Look at this. Yeah, don't get up there, babe. 
Don't get up there. <sighs> Look where I'm standing, guys. I'm friggin' perched up here, one leg there, straddled over this big rock on this tiny little path, and oh, I can't move. Panoramic, panoramic. And Rusty's all the way up there, and I can't panoramic, turn around. Panoramic, babe, panoramic. I can't turn around or Here anything. Here we go. Right there. All right, better go. I'm about to fall, I think. So what do you think of that, Kimmy? That was pretty amazing. It's fucking amazing, I can tell you. After I got over my fright. That is amazing, that volcano, I tell you. It's well worth the hike up here. You can walk around it too. Yes, he's been crying. Oh, I got a few tears, oh, mate. Oh, look. <laughs> I got a few tears, yeah. sweetie. Yeah, it, it, it really is. It's brilliant, guys. Come and see it. Come and see it. She won't come near the edge, will you, babe? Kimmy did come to this point though, right here. Kimmy come to here and peered over, then peered down, then peered over, then peered down again, didn't you, babe? Is that what you did? <laughs> Done real, isn't it? Is it worth the walk up? Yeah, guys, and I'm not bragging that I fucking did it because I had to put the hard yards in. I had old Rusty there pushing me along. <laughs> That's right. Okay, guys, I'll catch you later. We're on the way down now. There are a hell of a lot of steps and it's very steep incline in the boat. It sure is. Now, I've my drink. Hey, uh, I am so wrapped, babe, that we come up there. That is unbelievable, I tell you. I'm going to ring Mr. Feast and tell him he made you cry. Oh, it did. It brought tears to my eyes, guys. That view, I can tell you right now, absolutely spectacular make sure you make the effort. you only got to come up all these. Yeah. <laughs> going <laughs> down. a heap more. Going down's better. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Is it? <laughs> Just realised yeah. what I well, said. Yeah, we'll see how that is then. We'll see how that pans out. I'll be too tired. Yeah. All we've got to do is move your fucking mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and do you that. do that, okay, when you're fucking talking. Yeah. All right, guys. Bye. When we come down from Mount Chang, just opposite the car park is this cottage. We met this gentleman here, Dan. Now, he's in the process of doing this cottage up. It's going to be called Mountain Path Meadows. It will be an Airbnb and short-term accommodation. The cottage was built in 1866, and I've always wanted to look through one of these limestone cottages. Well, he invited us on in. Wasn't I stoked? And apparently, they're going to be taking bookings from September this year. So enjoy, guys. Is the original bluestone cottage. So what I've been told is we have a, a, a hand dug well over here on the side. Yeah. Um, that when they pulled the stone out of there, some of these bigger slabs, these ones here, for example, were mined directly from there, and then they built the cottage out of it. Right. Okay. So when we got here, it was just old frame. It's lying on the tin yep, right there. Yep. John and I pulled it all down, um, and have been rebuilding it three weeks or so. Oh yeah. Maybe a month. So what sort of time frame you're looking at getting it oh, done? We want to be in before Christmas. Right, eh? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, cool. We've, we've spent the winter in that Jayco outside. But, yeah. Um, I have an eight month old baby girl and and a missus and um, and yeah, and we've so far survived, but we're, we're very much looking forward to having a house. So this is pretty original. That's an old yeah. burn wood spit yeah. fire stove behind there. It is running. John helped me get it running. Yeah, cool. Um, we'll keep this pretty basic, but um, eventually want to turn this into Airbnb accommodation. Oh, and cool. And come back and enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. In here, it might be a bit darker and, and please be, be kind with my mess. Ah. But, uh, this is our shed, this is our everything. Storage, the whole lot, but um. this is the truly original cottage. So that's original. Baltic yeah, I about to say, it looks like Baltic pine. Yeah, Baltic yeah. pine floors. Um, and they're still holding up. They're sure there's some holes in some areas, but. Gonna polish them or? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll yeah. replace them. And, and Baltic, beautiful. Back. It is just gorgeous. Yeah. Um, I'd actually like to get the petition wall back in at one point because this would have been. Uh, sleeping quarters and then kitchen and living next door. It was a true. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, there was a Mount Shank estate. It's just yeah. a cattle and sheep station around the corner. Yeah. Uh, it's been there 1853 or something. Don't quote me on that with the 50s. Original doors? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, we'll try and put all them back in. Um, we're going to turn this into a small ensuite and this will be a king size master room in here. Oh, the old stone floors still. Yeah, old slate in there. Yeah. So uh, just an old farmer's cottage originally or what? That's it. Yeah. This is would have been part of the estate where they would have had workers come and stay out here and Yeah. Um, well, the Ashby yeah. family had it originally yeah. and they've passed hands a dozen times yeah. since then. And, and quite often the old owners will just drop in and say, Oh, good to see something happening with it, you know, because it's been 
And if anything, I think it'd be nice to try and respect the heritage here as much as we can. But through here is another two bedrooms and a big large bathroom and there's a mezzanine level up on top. Oh, exposed yeah. beams. Um, so this this will hopefully, when, when it's all said and done, the whole cottage we're hoping could sleep, you know, maybe 12, 14 people, something like that. God. Um, it's fair size really it when is, you look yeah, at it. it, is, it this it is really... all an addition. This is the original exterior wall. So what's that going to be up there? It smells bad, there's possums up there. Yeah, but uh, what, what are you going to tell me? You guys are allergic to bees. Um, nah, yeah, oh. she, is, she had some. Okay, well, yeah. they are in here. So. Yeah, I see that. Um, up there, we'll turn that in. That's a beautiful dormer window. It looks out yeah. of the farmland. We'll turn it like a little yeah. reading corner or something cute up there. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Don't go in there, there's bees, there's up, bees up there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jewel free. Oh, we are still Play here. on the window, though. Oh, freaking. On the window up there. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we have possums and bees that inhabit this place, not people. Yeah. Good <laughs> place. Unreal. Well, I built the walls when I was 19. Did you really? Yeah. So. Right. Now I'm rebuilding it again. <laughs> well, you know about it, don't you? <laughs> well, I built. Telling him how I'm teaching him how to build, so he knows how to build it. Yeah. yeah. He's an invaluable resource. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we've done all this, and then uh, we. Uh, we're going to look at the roof now, and we're going to replace some of the timber because the upright's all okay still. So and then they have to be the better part of 160 years old. Oh, yeah. every bit. Yeah. To think that that hardwood's still there. I don't know what type of wood it is, but it's incredible that it's still there. Yeah. And they obviously knew how to build back in the day because it hasn't gone anywhere. I'll just so. charm around the house, yeah. around this side. <laughs> Very old. Incredible. It's good seeing these old cottages. I love coming to South Australia. All these old buildings uh, and seeing some. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, absolutely yeah. magnificent. Oh, some of them. So this, um, right behind you here, sorry, is uh, is that hand dug well? Oh, is it? Um, yeah, below that's six or seven stories deep. It's a big hole. Yeah. No water in it these days. No, no. The water table dropped. Um, they put through some drainage yeah. cuttings through the ocean. Yeah. All this used to be a swamp. Right, and okay. And then the, the water table dropped. There used to be water in the little depression over the road there. Yep. Um, and when that dropped, we lost water in that, apparently. Okay then, guys. It's time for the drawing of our competition. If you remember, in part 17, we had a competition. You had to be entered by the 20th of March. And these were the prizes you could win. This is what you had to do to enter that competition. Two blokes who you meet. Noel and Adam. All you gotta do is tell me, is it Noel or is it Adam? Which one is the tech nerd? The other one actually owns a trucking business. So one owns a trucking business, one's a tech nerd. Which one is the tech nerd? And also, to qualify for it, Kim gives a present to a little kid. What is the name of that present that she gives to the little kid. What does young Harvey name that present? Well, there's quite a few entrants in this, but not everyone got the right names around the right way. Adam is the tech nerd and Noel owned the trucking company. So you had to tell us Adam. And Paddington Bear that was given to Harvey, he named it Frank. So, there was only two people that got this scenario right. One is Podge, and the other is Spencer Keegan Akehurst. So, this is the draw for that prize. Good luck, everybody, and here we go. Spencer, Podge, Spencer, Podge. Come on, guys, rip it up! Spencer! You have won that prize. So, to claim your prize, just contact us on Facebook, private message on Facebook, or private messages on YouTube, or send us an email to this link. Congratulations, Spencer Keegan Akehurst. You've done well. Okay, Kimmy, where are we again? We're at Umpfurst and Sinkhole. It's not McPherson's? No. Mrs. McCracken? It's not one of them. Oh, okay. What a Mrs. McCracken? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Mrs. McCracken with me, haven't I? Right, now, we're going to go and have a look at the sinkhole here in Mount Gambier. For all you guys that haven't watched our videos before, this is the garden area leading up to the sinkhole. 
in the boat. Yep. That is a gift shop. I know we've filmed it before, haven't we? We have. But these are for all our new subscribers That's that right. haven't seen the sinkhole. What do you reckon? Because it takes too long to scroll back through our YouTube stuff. Well, it's a new time. Something might have changed, babe. Well, yeah, there's a digger over there digging graves. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I fucking paid him a few dollars for that too, I can tell yeah. you. I want to watch where I step then. OK. Beautiful area, isn't it, guys, eh? Look at it. Lover's Arch coming up. Where? Right here. That's not a Lover's Arch. Yes, it is. Lover's Umbrella. I wish you'd stop making things up on the road. I can tell you, I'm bad I'm bad out of jack of it. Have you? Yeah, I'm bad jack of that. <laughs> You're making things up. You're making us look bad, babe. Sorry. Yeah, making things up all the time. So... OK, so wait, wait a minute. Don't jump the gun, babe. Don't jump Calm down. Get a bit excited then. Yes. Right, so we're at the sinkhole here, right? We're not in it yet. Kim's going to give you a little bit of information about it. Go for it. So the park is the remnant of a late 19th century garden of which the sinkhole was the focal point. The garden was developed by James Umpherston on part of his property known as the Caves. The original Victorian resident was located at the rear of the park but was not demolished in 1964. Um, the garden was laid out in Victorian English tradition with entrance gates on the main highway. The long driveway to the house was bordered with oaks and elms and box hedges separated lawns from vegetable garden, orchard and olive grove. The sinkhole was developed with the same formality. OK then, so what are sinkholes? A sinkhole is if a If you come natural, around here you'll know. It's a natural occurrence. There it is there. The southeast is underlined by limestone known as the Gambia limestone, which formed 15 to 40 million years ago when the area was covered by sea. Okay then. So many of the sinkholes in this region are a complex of caverns and some are filled with water. These have presented a challenge to scuba divers with tragic results to several people who are ill-prepared for... Are we prepared for the hazards? We're not going diving. Okay, let's go then. Just saying. We'll go. Just saying. So we're prepared then. Oh, possums. Oh, apparently there's a big feral possum here too. Apparently you can come down here feeding the possums of a night, but be careful they don't take your hand. Apparently, yeah, that, as Kim just said, there's a feral one in there, babe. Yep. These aren't quite blooming yet. Look, they're about to come out, babe. Look at that. What are they? Flowers. Oh. Look, okay. see there? Look, they're going to come out like that. Oh, yeah. That one there. Cool. Rightio, guys. So, this is the sinkhole. In the babe. Yep. Okay. Come on down with me, babe, and we'll have a look down here at this sinkhole. I'm on my way. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't it a picture to behold, isn't it, babe? Yeah. Look at it. Absolutely beautiful. Come on, babe. Do you want me to take my phone? Oh, look, I'll carry it. I'll do everything. I've done it for the last 30 days. Why do I have to stop now, babe? Fair call. Yeah, no, that's fair call. OK, so we're coming down into it now, aren't we, babe? You can't go far. I don't, I don't know. We'll go up around here and just have a little look. See all these caverns, little holes. Possums live down here. Don't they, babe? Yep. Yes? Sure do. A lot of bird life. Look at this. Are you coming, babe? Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. It, it's a pretty easy walk today. It's not yep. like Mount Shank. No. <laughs> no, this is a walk in the park. This is a walk in the park. <laughs> or the sinkhole. Kimmy. That just goes around to there, so you can't see much down there. No. So it's a cavernous area, isn't it, babe? Yeah. Good. We've got water over here, babe. Yeah. We've got a fountain. I never had that last time. I can't remember that fountain before, can you? No. I can't. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's a new addition. Is it? Yeah. Well, I don't think it was going last time we were here. That water goes down there, down a little waterfall, babe. Does it? Look at that. Yeah, that's a new addition. Yeah, I've never seen that working before. I've not seen that. No. There's a lot of bees up there. Yeah, we can go straight around there, babe. Yeah, who And down around. the path. We can go straight around the bar. Oh. There's the honeycomb yeah, up there. up there. See? Right there, above your head as well, the honeycombs. Yeah. Look at them all. I remember. Whoa! <laughs> I remember we were here last time and I said to the man, Do you see the bees? And he goes, What bees? And they were all swarming around his head. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
So we've just been looking at the bees and all the honeycombs, haven't we, babe? Yeah, they're cool. As long as look they don't this. come near me, they'll be fine. I won't have to whack them. Anyone yeah, that hasn't been here, better get Oh, there's the flowers. Look. Oh, yeah, pretty flowers, aren't they? Yeah. They're pretty like you. Oh, I'm beautiful. Yeah, well, there's a difference, isn't there? There's, there's pretty and there's beautiful in the whole. Yeah. I've explained that to her before. There's no room for improvement. I see pretty girls all the time. Don't I, Bo? Yeah. But beautiful girls now. They're, They're in a league of their own. Fucking hell, tell me about it. There's no room for improvement with the beautiful ones. Oh. <laughs> there's always room for improvement. <laughs> in there, babe. Where do you go from beautiful? Yeah, I don't know, babe. I don't know. So oh, we're weird. right down in the guts of it. You're going to get a bit of sun glare. But look at that. It is a fair size. And it comes back down there. And oh, Kimmy, she's over there. Okay, I'm coming, babe. She's found something. Something comes out of there at her. Yeah. I don't know she's going to shit herself. Something's been sleeping in here. Has it? Look, it's what, flattened. Babe? Flattened all these. What? Oh. Go in there and look. Oh, look, get something's bird. dragged a bird yes. in here. There could something be a big. monster in here, babe. Something big in there. Oh. What is it? Oh, what? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice of you. It's not very nice. Something's been in here. Something big. Possums, I reckon. Possums. Possums, or bats? Do you think bats will oh, be? I don't know. You're a bit batty though. Oh, the limestone's made up of all these little, um, like calcite and these little bio shell things. Like they look like what are they called? Bivalve. They're like a little shell thing. Are they, babe? And this thing, biozo, a oh. biozo. She's um, a world of knowledge, isn't she, eh? See, look. She's a wealth of knowledge. They're marine animals. Ah. And echidnoids, they're weakly cemented together by calcite. No. Yeah. Shells of these animals are known in these sketches, see? Um, you got some steps to climb now, sweetie? Yep. I remember that these used to be a challenge, but... Used to be a challenge? Yeah, well, I did Mount Shank yesterday, so... You did Mount Shank, didn't you? Pretty fit today. You've done well, haven't you? Only got a couple of steps to go up, haven't we, sweetie? Yep. Yep. Kim will handle it. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it, guys. She'll be right. Oh, we're right. No Kim was hurt in the making of this film, was there? Uh-uh. Nah. Well, you got more steps. Oh, bloody hell, babe. You right? When we come down there and carry you. No, you can carry it. Jeez, I can't do everything on these holidays. What are you going so slow for? Because I'm high up. Oh. Oh. Hey, careful that. Oh my god, she's an old invalid, isn't she guys? Take a look at this though guys. That is the unfirsting sinkhole. Absolutely stunningly beautiful, isn't it? Oh no, we've been here before, haven't we both? Yep. But it really is worth just a quick stroll around, just a quick visit, isn't it? It's what? Two Ks, three Ks from the centre of Mount Gambier, if that. Kim could have walked here on a good day, but of course she climbed Mount Shank yesterday, she's a bit weary, aren't you, babe? Hey? I am. The Unfirsten Sinkhole, also known as the Sunken Garden, is one of the most spectacular gardens located in Mount Gambier. The sinkhole was once a typical limestone cave that formed by the corrosion of limestone rocks by seawater waves and the sinkhole was naturally created when the chamber roof collapsed. It was also made into a garden by James Umpfersten in 1886. The sinkhole is open from dawn to dusk and as the sun sets, the sinkhole comes alive with hundreds of possums as they come into the tranquil garden to feed. leaving the Umpherston sinkhole. Rusty wants to go to the McPherson sinkhole, but 
There is not one. Shut up, Mrs. McCracken. <laughs> hey, Mrs. McCracken. Hello, YouTubers. <laughs> oh my God. Here we Just go. Just make sure you're looking and pointing it at the yep. cart. Here we go. This is a, a cart. There's no horse to it though. But it says the wagon was built by James Keegan of Mount Gambier in 1911 at a cost of 80 pound, which is $160. Owned and donated by J.P. Telford in 1970. It was re restored by members of the Rotary Club of Mount Gambier West in 2001. I don't think there's anything in there. I can't really see up there, but Rusty assures me there's nothing in there. And Carting that's... magic. What was it used for? What was it used for? Yeah. It doesn't say. Oh, doesn't it? It was just built and oh, okay. bought at a cost of 80 pound. Oh, okay. Then they donated it, so. Okay. Rusty, get on there. You get on that side. Lift her up. You're a fucking horse. <laughs> you are a horse, babe. <laughs> Come on, get on there. Come on, we'll lift her up. <laughs> lift her up, sweetie. You ready? Yeah, go, babe, go. <laughs> <laughs> that there is the unfirsting sinkhole, isn't it, sweetie? Yeah. And the surrounding park area. So let's not, let's not say that Kimmy Russ don't take you on an adventure now yeah. and again. It's called Kimmy Russ Adventures for a reason. It is. I don't know what that is, but some modern day statue. Thing. Well, it says right there, mate. What is it? Well, that sculpture was created by Ivo, Ivo Tadic of Mount Gambier and completed in April 97. The form of the sculpture was inspired by geological process, which create the region's sinkholes and caves. They've been formed by rainwater dissolving limestone over millions of years. Oh, yeah. To me, it looks like women's legs. <laughs> down legs. Yeah. It does. That's exactly what it looks like to me. Yep. Okay, Kim, what sort of day have we had today? Fucking perfect. What sort of perfect day? Well, there was a few standout things today. Uh, standout ain't no fucking no word. Haven't we had a great day today, baby? Yeah. Oh, Rusty's over the moon Absolutely today. Absolutely fantastic day. It, it started out a brekkie. $10. $10.50 mm -hmm. brekkie. Full brekkie, man. Bacon and eggs and everything. Absolutely fantastic. You've probably seen the pictures on Facebook. Then we come home. Then we decide we go down to Port McDonald, yep. didn't we? It's about 25 k's down the road, down the tip down here. And um, have a bit of a ride and have a bit of a look down there. Well, magnificent. What about mag? It gets better, though. It gets better, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that was magnificent. And we met some lovely bikers down there, didn't we, on a couple of triumphs and talking to them for ages as well. Cindy Ray. and Ray on a couple of triumphs. Great people. Then it got even better. It did, didn't it, babe? Yeah. Done a couple of blockies and we went out. There's a museum down there, Mr. Feast. Feast. Don, is it? Just Feast's Museum. Feast Museum. It's husband and wife. Yeah, Port McDonald. Yeah. yeah, just as you're leaving Port McDonald, three or four kilometres out, isn't it? On the way back to Mount Gambia. And I tell you, you've never seen a museum like this in your life. It's amazing. We've got some footage, um, in, uh, lots of photos and footage of it. It is fucking fantastic. I'll tell you what, whatever you're into, it's there. Yeah. It yeah. does not matter. Cars, motorcycles, Lego, spoons, sewing, every it fucking goes thing. It on goes on and on. It is unbloody real. Ten bucks to get in, and the bloke there is such a character, he is. isn't he? Eh? Very Kept on crack, kept on cracking on the Kimmy. For a while there, he's cracking on the Kimmy. Brought tears to Rust, Rusty's eyes. The tears were was when she come back to me though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought she was off with him, but then yeah. I fucking bawled when she came back. Yeah. <laughs> the tears of excitement when she, um, yeah, when I thought, yeah, she's gone. But anyway, anyway. that's another story. Yeah. But hey, great! I, I'm telling you, great museum. Doesn't like you filming a real lot in photos, but we did film a bit, didn't we? Yeah. And took a lot of photos. So that will be coming out on YouTube. That will be. And then he suggests, he said, "Did you go up Mount Shank?" 
I said, where's Mount Shank? He said, the volcano out the road. I said, yeah, we passed that on the way in, didn't we? He said, there's a couple of steps leading up the top. <laughs> Here we yeah. go again, I yeah. thought. You kilometre up to the top, there's a couple of fucking steps. Don't you worry in there, mate. Yep. Footage today, we've got footage, we've got footage. I was going to ring Mr Feast and Feast? say to him, I tell you. I'm gonna tell him off. <laughs> it is it. one of the most spectacular, all for any spectacular views you will ever see. Bring tears to your eyes oh, now. Just thinking crying. about. It. Oh, I tell you, we got up the top. Yeah, there was a struggle. Wasn't old Rusty? No, it wasn't Rusty. There was a struggle. I won't say who, but we got there. And I get up the top there. We both got up the top there, and I'm looking at. Fucking beautiful, fucking absolutely beautiful, right? Look at all across these paddocks and then I turned around and oh my fucking god. He said, he spotted it. Oh my god. An extinct volcano there, you can see all the lava up the sides and fucking deep as fucking hell. And that was behind me. Not on tearing up again, mate. Yeah, no. <laughs> In it's a fucking massive drop, just this big fucking crater. It is unreal. Well, oh, give me, she never went too close to it. That's fine. And she's seen the pictures. But I did get her near it, okay? And she had a bit of a look. Yeah. That's fine. We walked back down. We met the nicest people in the world. A couple of blokes down there. Dan and John. Yeah, Dan and John. Just where we parked the bikes to go up Mount Shank. And he brought a limestone cottage, 1864 it was built, and he's doing it up. Was that 160 something years old or something like that? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, nearly 160 years old. It would be under the, what be, 157? Yeah. yeah, it'd be 157 years old, I guess. But he's doing it up, extending a little bit, making it into a b and and he showed us through it, didn't yeah. he? I'll tell you what, the nicest person he had ever met. The pair of them. But Dan, that's his business card there if you can see it. And he's hoping to have that open by Christmas. It's still got a lot of work, but you will see it on some YouTube clips. Yep. I said, because we walked, he walked us through this cottage and I took the camera and everything with us. Fantastic. I tell you, we have had the best day, haven't we, babe? And now it's starting time because we've deserved it today, haven't we, babe? Topping it off today. I tell you, Mount Shank Volcano, mate. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. It is in a boat. Everything in this place. This yep. City. It is amazing and a must yeah. see. You've got the blue lakes, the little blue lake. You've got the, um, the, the leg of mutton. You've got um, the sinkhole. Oh, a leg of fucking mutton. <laughs> oh, no, that's just mutton. <laughs> Done up his lamb. <laughs> the two sinkholes. Oh, yeah. I won't even say that. <laughs> hey there, guys, we've got to go. Don't we both? Yeah. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. There's something wrong here. <laughs> What's going on? There is something dreadfully wrong. Hey, look at this. Look at this. What? That's, Kim, that's King's fucking makeup. Not all of it. Just some of it, right? Most of it. And this is my camera gear. And I'm making a motion fucking picture, man. Look. What the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck's going on? I don't know. Calm your Kim's, farm. Kim's maker. Me motion picture shit. Calm your farm, mate. Pack it up, ready to go home and fucking hell. Oh, he's fucking stressing out. Fuck off me. Oh, oh, calm your farm, bud. Whatever, Spirit, Spirit One. Spirit of Tasmania One in the boat. Where are we, mate? We're on board and we're on the way home, just about, aren't we? Yep. 
There's our guinea there, no rusty there. This is our boat for the night. Now, yes, we know, we know you've seen it before. But we're stuck in here, locked in here for the next 12 hours. We're we can't, decorating. We can't even go and get a cider, can we? No. But there was a glimmer of hope, wasn't there? We yeah. come in and they've got a care package for us. Look at this. Open up. We hope. did not Jump. expect that. Yeah. And now, we're just hoping there might be a touch of vodka in there. Who's going to eat the fucking fruit? We can't take Who it the in the fuck eats fruit? Right. We haven't ate fruit for months. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh is it chocolate? They know what? us. What else we got? A cupcake? In cereal, just oh, right. In okay. milk. Oh. Where's the fucking bowl? Where's the bowl? Maybe you use that as a bowl, oh, bowl. Yes. Oh. Yeah, Radio. What's yours? Anything any better than mine? Or yeah. What? No. If there is, I'm about to lose it, aren't I? Exactly. Yes. That's what I thought. Ah. If there's anything in there better, I've lost it. Yep. Same. I think. Yeah. Exactly but same. we did buy stuff though, didn't we, both? We bought some sandwiches and put them on ice in there. So anyway, guys, this here is the end of our holidays, isn't it, Bo? Yeah. Our month long. Well, we've just got a few days before we get back to work. Yeah, but the actual mainland holidays. So this is where the video is going to end, isn't it? I never filmed today coming in from Mount Gambia. What, babe, what? what are you doing down there? Oh, there's a bin. What are you doing? <laughs> what, just don't worry about the bin. All right. <laughs> But you can go back down there if you want. <laughs> Can't a man all excited. I'm, I'm cooked up with it for the next 12 fucking hours, I tell you. What's kind of red? Oh, I don't know. I'm sunburned. <laughs> like I'm trying to say, babe. This is the end of our video, isn't it, babe? Uh, of our road trip 2021. Yes. So we hope you have enjoyed the whole lot of the episodes, eh? Yeah. What do you reckon? Well, yeah. And we'll catch you next time when we go back on the road again. Yeah, throughout the year. Yeah. See you guys. Hi. Don't forget to follow us. Like, share and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>